Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ebony, I am a human design coach slash reader, and in this video we are going to be talking about the human design system, right? But is it scientific? Let me turn off my fan. Is it scientific, you know? Or is it just another arbitrary system that someone has pulled out of their but and you know everyone's kind of just hopping on it you know so that's what we're going to be talking about and the answer probably won't surprise you <laughs> but i think it's important that if we're going to really work with this system if we're really going to try and understand it and use it in our day-to-day -day life we need to understand where it comes from we need to understand what goes into it and then we can make the decision for ourselves whether or not we want to give it the weight that you know everyone seems to be giving it so human design is a spiritual system i want to make that very very clear this is not a system that's backed by science it's not you know scientifically researched this doesn't have like a bunch of studies this is not something that was cultivated in a lab you know so it's not like there's you know all this empirical data on it or things like that it is a spiritual system that gives general guidelines for how you operate based on the moment of your birth and three months before your birth so it has to do with the placement the location of the celestial bodies in the sky the moment of your birth and three months before your birth so it does it okay let me let me back up the system was created in 1987 it was started in 1987 and it was finished in 1989 by a man named ra uruhu and he channeled human design from a voice that he heard and that's that's where the system came from he channeled it um he created it took him two years to finish and that is where you know we get human design from that's that's basically how it started it takes from the chakra system it takes from the I Ching. it takes from western astrology um, the Kabbalah, the Tree of Life, it takes all of these different modalities and it from you know it, these different elements from these other different systems you have you know the whole of, of human design which is its own system in its own right but it takes elements from different modalities so even if you may be very familiar with you know Western astrology I'm actually a certified astrologer so I'm, I'm very familiar with Western astrology um, I'm also a certified chakra healer, so I know a lot about the chakra system, the chakra system and astrology. So if you know about these different modalities, they will still look very different from the way that you may have seen them when you experience them in human design. Because human design is, is not, you know, astrology. It takes elements from astrology. It has to do with the placements of the planets, but it is not astrology. They're two different systems. And that's another thing that you kind of have to understand when you are working within the confines of the system is that you can understand the like the things that it takes from and still not understand human design as a whole it's not like if you know astrology then you know human design if you know the I Ching then you know human design that's not how it works it takes from these modalities it takes from these systems and on its own it is still a completely different um, a completely different system so that's important to know that it does take from these different elements so if you are not into astrology if, if that's not something that you subscribe to or you know the chakra system or things like that human design probably isn't going to hold a lot of weight for you and that's okay like there's <sighs> I was actually on a, a jubilee episode and it was astrologers versus astrologers versus astronomers and it was basically us having a conversation about, you know, is astrology a science and, you know, the, the, all these different, like, things. And we were trying to, like, find a middle ground. And um, I kind of got torn apart in the comments because I said that, first of all, I said that astrology is a pseudoscience or a soft science, which it is. And I compared it to psychology. And people were really upset about that. And I'm like... I did not say that psychology is not backed by science. At no point did I say that. 
and at no point did I say that astrology was on the same level as psychology. I didn't say that either. I said it was a pseudoscience and it's similar to astrology. But there were so many people in the comments that were just so upset by what upset upset by what I said and I was like I stand by my opinion, you know? So I guess what I'm trying to say is that this system is not scientific. It is not backed by science. So if you are a person who needs things like empirical evidence or if you need things to be very logical and I guess very sensical in, in that way then human design is probably not going to be the system for you and that is totally fine that's okay just like astrology isn't for everyone and you know that it's not it's it's not a big thing if you know you hear about human design you're just like oh you know that's just another astrology it's not it's its own system but it's still not backed by science so that's my that's like the kind of history of human design and then my take on the whole thing um so really what i want to talk about in this video now that we've covered all of that is how you kind of perceive this system because you either think there's some weight to it or you know you don't there might be some people in between who are like oh kind of but not you know i don't know but you know there's the two sides and what i want to establish in this video is number one the human factor because we are not machines we up until the age of seven we are our con our conscious mind isn't fully developed so we are just a walking subconscious and we're taking in all of these things and they're just kind of being you know cemented into our subconscious mind is the truth because we don't have the capacity to filter things out yet until we hit like the age of seven so you know we can have our, our energy type and you know all of these things and it not resonate with us because of the human factor because we've experienced trauma because we have childhood wounds because of our experiences that have shaped us in a way that what may be our energy type just like what may be our sun sign or our rising sign doesn't resonate with us you know and if that's the case then that is that's fine it doesn't devalue the system it just shows that there is more to us than the time that we were born it's nature versus nurture because the vast um, the vast majority of people actually know all of the people that I have worked with when it comes to human design reading their charts have said that yes this is me this is validating all of these things but there could come a time when I do a reading for someone they're like that's not that's not me at all like that is so that is not actually you know what that's a lie I did a reading for my sister and she's a generator and she's like that is not me at all like at like that mm -mm, nope and I was like, okay, well, that's interesting. Like, which parts of this don't resonate with you? And we were going through it, and I was like, well, could it be that, you know, you had this experience, and it, it now makes you operate in this sort of way, which is completely different from what your human design is, but you created that as a means to survive. So could this be a survival technique rather than something you were just, you know, born doing? And she was like, yeah. Yeah, you know, I started doing this when this and this and this happened. So it's not that human design, you know, works for some people and, and doesn't work for other people. There's a human component to all of it. Right? There's conditioning, there's trauma, there's all of these different layers that are on top of it, you know? So that's one thing that you really have to keep in mind if you're a reader or even if you're just someone who's getting into this is that there is a human factor. So if part of your design, if you're not resonating with it or if you're in a conversation with someone and they're like, oh, it's just like astrology and astrology doesn't work. By the way, astrology does work. It's kind of this. <laughs> there's a similar argument to be made with astrology, but we're just we're talking about human design right now you have to remember the human factor the way that we operate has not only been shaped by the time that we were born it's also been shaped by the people the experiences that we have encountered during this life so and human design cannot take cannot take that into account there's like <laughs> to be able to 
um, incorporate every single human experience that we are capable of having on this planet. The, the system isn't big enough for that. So it's kind of up to us to say, okay, why is there always something on fire? Anyway, it's up to us to say, okay, this is what my design says I'm supposed to be doing. But I don't, you know, I don't resonate with this. Is there something that I'm missing? Could something in my past have contributed to the way that I'm currently operating that makes it so different from my human design? You know, could that, could that be possible? And just kind of really peeling back the layers and asking yourself, is it, this, is it that this really doesn't resonate? Or is it that I'm operating in a completely different way because of what I've been conditioned or because I've had to survive or because of trauma? You know, you don't have to do this if you don't, if you're like, no, human design is crap, it's a, it's a load of crock and blah, 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 that's perfectly fine. Like, I'm not saying that you have to. I'm just saying that if you're on the fence and you're like, oh, it's not scientific, so, you know, maybe it just doesn't work, consider the human factor. Um, also, what I want to say on this topic specifically is taking what resonates. I do not think that there is anything wrong with looking at a system, taking what works for you and leaving the rest. I personally do not see a problem with that. I, it, it, first, there seems to be like this consensus in a lot of different like circles where it's like, it's all or nothing. Like you have to agree with the whole thing or you know, you don't agree with it all, with it at all. And it's like, the, it, 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 does, it doesn't make any sense to me. You can agree with parts of the system and think that other parts of it are you know not that great or don't make as much sense i don't think there's anything wrong with that i don't think there's anything wrong with having a reading and say and saying i agree with this i agree with this i agree with this that not so much i'm i'm not going to take that in because it just it doesn't it doesn't feel right for me i personally don't think that there's anything wrong with that but i have seen a lot of readers who want to take human design as gospel and they want the people that they work with to take human design as gospel and completely work through the confines of the system which is great if that's what you want to do but if you don't you do not have to like you have the choice of deciding you know I'm gonna use this because it makes sense for me I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna leave everything else and you can do that but personally I don't see anything wrong with that so um I feel like I kind of got a little bit off track but that's basically how that's basically how I feel about you know human design as a system the scientificness of it all um the people who talk about how it's just like astrology it's different from astrology it is its own system even though it takes elements from astrology and and other systems it is its own system in its own right so that's that's kind of, that's just what i wanted to say um if you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe um and so that you don't miss any more of my videos where i completely ramble on about random things <laughs> And if you are interested in booking a free alignment call with me, I will leave the link in the description box and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.